What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you the very next video and this is going to be a, a video a little something different that we usually do on the channel and we came across this clan as you see we clearly got our asses kicked. Uh, just take a look at uh, Immortal Titans, their total destruction 99.27% total destruction and they did have some few attacks that definitely caught our eye. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest here. These were probably some of the, the, the best attacks, I mean, I, I've ever seen. And, oh my God, you know, Riggs going to be talking about modding and, oh, he's just a hater. No, it has nothing to do with that. But I'll tell you right now, with these attacks that these guys used in this war, I'll tell you right now, they would beat any seat and seat, not just CWO Premier Clan, but even Invite Clan. Wait till you guys see some of these attacks that they did on our bases. It was a 30 v 30. Uh, breakdown was kind of funky. Um, we had four Town Hall 11s down here to Black Magic. And uh, number five, Biggie for Life, this is actually a 10.5. And we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We had eight. Uh, yeah, so the, the breakdown was 4-1-8, and then the rest were Town Hall 9s. And as you see right here, they had three Town Hall 11v11s. They also um, tripled this 10.5 with a Town Hall 11, and they also had four 10v10s. So just absolutely insane. Wait till you guys check out some of these attacks. And on their side of the map, it was just it was just a, a, a complete bloodbath. We left up one nine. So obviously it wasn't the best performance from us, but after after watching these guys' attacks, you know, we did not know what we were getting ourselves into. But uh let's see what we're gonna do. We'll go ahead and start off right here on number two. And like I said, these were just some of the craziest queen charge uh you know lolos that they were doing. And keep in mind this is our number two and when, when you guys see these replays, they really do make it look so easy. I mean, you watch these replays, and it is just so smooth. One thing that was really interesting, and I don't know if the percentage number has anything to do with it. You know, I don't know about modding, and again, maybe they're not modding. Who knows? You know, we'll give them the innocent till proven guilty. Um, you know, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But on their scouts, they you know, they'd scout with their Town Hall 9s, and they had... Three or four scouts were both, were all of them were exactly 7%. I just thought that was kind of odd. It was really weird. You know, they'd send about four hounds to one AD and then they'd come in maybe an hour later, a couple hours later and just completely triple the base. So we're just watching this queen charge, uh, taking out Bin 1982 and just making it look so easy. Charging uh, this Inferno Tower right here, goes ahead and drops a rage just in time. Uh, to take out the king and uh, pops the warning ability just in time for queen to take out that maxed out inferno tower. And she's just going to be charging into this base here. And I mean, it really comes down to just the value. And I, I, as you guys know, in these videos, I always save, uh, <laughs> I always save the best attack for last. And it was just insane. The, the value that they would get. I mean, it was like every single troop, uh, you know, would basically have, value every single troop i mean down to the wizard down to the minion um i mean the timing on everything was just immaculate the the spell placement so i'll give it up to them i'm gonna tell you right now if, if any of these guys uh, i know they're a spanish-speaking clan you know we did check out their twitter and a lot of it was in spanish some of it was in english but i'm gonna tell you right now if these guys immortal titans if these guys are fair play I'm going to tell you right now, they need to join CWL ASAP, uh, get those applications in. If they're not fair play, then it makes sense why they wouldn't be joining a, a, a fair play league uh, like the Champions War League. But I'm going to tell you right now, if these attacks are fair play, um, they're going to give just about every single clan a run for their money. Just perfect spell placement, grab the Inferno Tower, grab the AD right there on that, that freeze. And just ending with a whole lot of loons. Queen Charge hasn't even gone down, staying up through the entire raid. Still has a raid, just a few defenses left. And just completely wrecked it. So this was their very first um, 11v11 that we saw. 
and they had, I think, one scout on this base. So let's go ahead and check out, we'll just move right along here, we're going to check out the hit on Achilles, uh, number three, with another, another 11 v 11. Like I said, I mean, they had, they had four 11 v 11s, I'm telling you, even Clans goes ahead and drops uh, this baby drag right there on the upper left hand side, going to go ahead and grab that cannon, plays just perfectly, Queen going to be charging up here at 12 o'clock with, uh, with the Warden behind her. And I'm telling you, I mean, even in the, 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 the top war, I mean, the, the best clans in, for example, CWL Invite, aren't getting any 11v11s. These guys come in here and they grab four. I mean, this isn't the most upgraded uh, Town Hall 11, but as far as, other than the ADs, all air targeting defenses, Archer Towers, Wizard Towers, the Sweepers, Inferno Towers, everything else is maxed. Uh, the Eagle Artillery is only level one, but regardless, the way they hit these bases just made it look so easy. It makes you feel like anybody can do it uh, watching how they break these bases down. And there was one scout on this base. So he's going to be charging here. Already took out two air defenses on the, on the queen charge here. But yeah, like I was saying, um, I mean, to grab, I mean, I don't know, to get four 11 v 11s. And about five 10 v 10s. It was just unreal watching uh, these attacks. And you'll see he does have that uh, that jump spell right there. You'll go ahead and see how exactly he uses that. So Eagle Artillery is down. Just getting amazing value from just about everything right here. Goes ahead and drops that rage just in time to take out the enemy king. And there goes the queen. Look at that. Takes the jump spell. Uh, just perfectly uh just that little hop to go over and get the second inferno tower uh, i couldn't believe that just hop skipped and jumped right over that wall uh slid right in grabbed the it so now hades and keep in mind if you guys didn't notice this uh hades it was the 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 same guy who tripled number two uh that first replay that i showed you guys so he basically 11 v 11 six pack uh this war for immortal titans so going to be coming in here, uh, just dropping down his loons, has a nice heal spell right there, has a whole lot of loons left. Notice Queen is still going. Uh, she is not going to be stopping, going to be surviving this entire raid, hasn't even been touched. Uh, Warden is still up. And just, I mean, just like that, even has the Archer Queen ability in the bag. All defenses down, minions everywhere, pups everywhere. Just made it look so easy, so smooth. So I don't know. You guys tell me. Fair play, mod, uh, you guys tell me. Let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, of these attacks. Okay, and the hit on Black Magic was actually a bitch attack. So I'm not going to show that replay. Uh, this was the 10.5. So we saw two So we saw two of the 11 v 11. So let's go ahead and check out. These were, yeah, this... Um, yeah, this one right here. This was, this guy also, easy peasy. This guy was also uh, 10 v 10 six packed on this one. Gonna be starting up here at 12 o'clock, also doing, also doing a queen charge. So, I mean, again, just, just the value that these guys got. I, I just, I could not believe it. And again, a big shout out to everybody letting me use the replays. Rune T, Ray Show. Um, PSC, Heisenberg, Achilles, thank you for letting me use your guys' bases for this uh, recap right here. So his queen is over here going to be heading to the left. Um, just had a couple minions clearing some trash over on the bottom left-hand side over at 9 o'clock. Uh, does have a few wall breakers, does have a, a couple hounds, 17 minions. So bringing all kinds of minions to help and this replay will also be ending in about a minute and 40 seconds. So you see that wizard right there goes ahead and takes out that mortar and is also going to be working on this barracks right here. Just setting up the show. He's going to be breaking into that expo bomb tower uh, compartment right there. So he's going to go ahead, pre-drop his wall breakers right into a rage, goes ahead and pops the wall amazing amazing timing on that one really good uh, i mean these guys had some of the best wait to again wait till you guys see the very last replay that i have to show it is by far the best double layer wall break i've, I've ever seen so stay tuned for that that is coming so it goes ahead and works through that hound 
So he, uh, so he had the rage not only for the, to help out the wall breakers, but the same rage also helped the queen beat through the hound and get through um, all those pups. Poison took out the loon. So a king came in here right behind the queen in the exact same compartment. Uh, just going to be beating on that wall right there. He's already started, uh, started the hound loon portion. Goes in, drops a really nice freeze, uh, followed up by a haste into the inferno tower right here. Goes ahead, uh, has a wad of loons. They go ahead and one shot that. And there's one more air defense left over at 3 o'clock. Just dropping in these loons on these defenses. Uh, still has one camp hound taking that 80. It pops just in time as he hastes the loons to take out the fourth and final AD on that same haste. They did rush into that second inferno tower, took that out, uh, even swagged an archer, swagged a couple loons, swagged a few minions. So awesome job to easy PC with the 10v10 uh, six pack this war for immortal titans. So you check that one out. Uh, that was a dip. They also had, they had no dip fails. Um, so here's another one. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll go ahead and check out Easy PC's second 10v10 of the war. Doing it with just an amazing uh, queen charge right here. So it has a baby drag. Uh, just working so the same baby drags all, uh, not only help with the funnel also goes ahead and takes out that Tesla right there So got really good value from that baby drag and you'll see something crazy When this Queen comes up here and takes out this mortar. I mean right here. You would think She that she would be heading left But no, he actually dropped some wall breakers got the wall pop just in time I would think the Queen would have taken out the mortar and just continued on to the gold mine, but with that wall breaker entry, uh, redirects queen. This is like the the <laughs> the smartest queen ever. Goes ahead and gets into this compartment. Got a little queen on queen action. Under rage. Doesn't even pop the ability. She had about 20 HP left. Did not pop the ability. Uh, goes ahead. Is going to be locking on that expo. Taking that out. Has a mini um, uh, king bowler kill squad coming in here at 3 o'clock. Where he also dropped some wall breakers to get him in. To take out this wizard tower goes ahead and drops the rage as wizard tower goes down next closest defense was that inferno tower Poison slowing down enemy king and enemy CC troops. So got really good value <laughs> From that poison right there and Queen has already taken out one air defense and Enemy CC and one inferno tower So she's just gonna be beating through this wall right here uh, when he broke his king and over at three o'clock just set up a perfect funnel so the, the queen would come down this channel right here, go ahead and grab a second air defense. And is already going to be starting the hound loon portion over here at 6 o'clock. Has two camp hounds heading onto that AD. Goes ahead and drops a haste, uh, taking out this expo and the cannon. I mean, really, I mean, barely even loses a loon. There goes the CC hound. Uh, they go ahead and take out the third air defense. Nice freeze. Catches the Inferno Tower and uh, fourth and final air defense. So good value on that freeze right there. Has a nice wad of loons raged up, beelining it to the inf second Inferno Tower. Takes that out. Last defense to go down is this Expo. Still has his camp hound up. Even swagged a loon. So there's a 10v10 six pack. One of the best 10v10s um, that I've seen. Just completely wrecked it. Has all kinds of troops up. Queen charge. Uh, was still up as well. So just got really good value now like I promised you guys I'm saving the best for last. We're not checking out any um, 9v9s. We're not going to show any of those replays. I just want to show you guys some heavy hitter action on this one And if you guys saw the start of the video You'll see on that uh, to start the video off before the intro uh, You guys already caught a piece of this double air wall break right here So we'll check out right here Queen is starting right at 3 o'clock already broke in and you're gonna see right here so Queen is gonna go ahead and take out that Tesla take out the elixir pump right there and she's gonna be working in uh, charging into this inferno tower compartment so watch this right here could not believe this makes it look so easy why can't everybody do this so she's on the inferno tower beam uh, slowly losing health as she's taking on this DE drill goes ahead pre drops wall breakers into a freeze Pops the wall, and right as she's basically at full health, uh, as the healers healed her up while the Inferno Tower was freezed, takes out the mine, and goes in, takes out 
the Inferno Tower. Here comes a king with a pair of Valks. Uh, going to be jumping in right here. Uh, they actually pull the CC so she can work on this air defense, get her life back up. So it gets good value from that BK. He's going to be taking out this Expo, just getting rid of all this stuff. Even takes out uh, that, that air defense. So two air defenses down. Queen charge in that Inferno Tower compartment, takes out the Air Sweeper, has a nice rage. Uh, right before she landed on that giant bomb, queen on queen action, uh, chocobolos, queen wins. So just got really good value from uh, that Val BK uh, mini kill squad right there getting the second air defense taken out. Completely fun. I mean, half this base is already gone. Literally half of this base is gone. So he's starting. So queen charging air, uh, three air defenses and or charge. Queen charged two air defenses and a front tower. King got third AD. So he's going to hound loon the upper left hand side of the space. Has a nice rage for all these loons. Good freeze right there. And there, uh, that balloon under rage is going to take out that front tower right as the freeze melts off. And pretty much all air targeting defenses are down. Uh, last two is that bomb tower and that air sweeper right there. And the, the charge lasted. I mean, Again, these were some of the best attacks that I've ever seen. I could not, I mean, when we first matched this clan, you know, we saw they were level five clan, you know, uh, from Molten Lava, we're level four. And, you know, we didn't know what kind of war uh, we were gonna be getting into. Thought maybe it was gonna be a farm war. We did notice they had some decent hero levels, so weren't too sure. But good job to Immortal Titans, taking the victory from, uh, from, uh, from Molten Lava, the final. 84 to 89 our total destruction was 92.13 percent theirs was 99.27 percent one star short of perfecting us and like i said the breakdown was four what did i say three one eight and uh phil the rest was just town hall nines it was a 30 v 30 random spin so not so much of a war recap I mean, this was more just to show you guys how good <laughs> Immortal Titans are. And I'm telling you, if you guys, Immortal Titans, if you guys are watching this video and you guys are fair play and you are not modding, get your asses into the CWL. I'm telling you, amazing, amazing performance, uh, completely wrecked us, getting the 99%. Let me know, uh, review these attacks, you know, watch the video, re review the attacks for yourself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, down below. And make sure uh, you guys like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS and I'll see you guys in the very next video.